And we're joined by Loyal Wooldridge, who we generally know as a city councillor, but now in the role as candidate for the NDP. And, and the, the topic here is, here you are, mm -hmm. you're a candidate for the NDP, not even really in the party fold fully yet, and here you are criticizing your own party over the Airbnb rule. So fill us in. Look, I wouldn't say it's criticizing. What I would say is it's reflecting a local sentiment for a made in Kelowna solution because we know that short term rentals have affected the long term rental market. But Kelowna is also unique. It's a resort community. We have um, tourism, uh, tourism commercial zoning that's been in place since 1997. And all I'm asking for is some exemption to the legislation to allow the operation of those buildings that have been historically operating for quite some time. I mean, Kelowna Council took the regulations a step further and they're actually not allowing short-term rentals anywhere else in the city to limit the impact of um, short-term rental rentals in houses. Um, so it only makes logical sense that we could see an exemption for our tourism commercial areas that have been historically zoned that way. So you would be pushing for the province to just back out of the of this subject and let the city handle it with its own set of rules? Well, there's still going to be provincial legislation for short-term rental, but just saying that I'd ask for Kelowna to have an exemption over that certain area of town, which is the Sunset Drive area and the Trustwell Cook area that the Aqua Project's being built in right now. And really, that's what I'm bringing to the table is a local voice for, uh, for our business community, our tourists and our students might get a lot of uh, support for that here. But it is really interesting that, you know, as you um, test the waters as an NDP potential MLA, um, that you, you know, kind of step out of line a little bit and, and offer this uh, constructive criticism. You know, I don't think you can be um, so arrogant to think that any piece of legislation is perfect and government's responding to the housing crisis, which needs urgent action. But that also means that legislation has to be open to amendments and, and some changes. And speaking with the business community and speaking with folks that have pre-purchased units, say in Aqua, um, it's really kind of changed the landscape of how their financing is done. They've put their, their money out there uh, to buy these units. And I think we just need to make some exemptions that are our local context and made in Kelowna solutions. So um, have you checked in with the higher ups within the NDP as to whether or not they're OK with you slightly stepping out of line on this topic? What I really appreciate about, about Premier David Eby is he really values candidates that are bringing that local voice to government and not just relying on uh, what he's hearing in the Premier's office. So, of course, brought that forward um, to the party and I didn't get any pushback. So here I am uh, bringing forward those solutions today. All right. I, I guess it does set the tone that you're not, you know, if elected, going to be the kind of MLA that simply says, um, this is what the, uh, my party's saying, um, like it or lump it, that you, that you want to perhaps represent the community to your caucus and to your government. Uh, service or, is um, a really great privilege. And my first job is serving the people of Kelowna. And that's what I'm always going to be remained committed to. And so that's why I brought that forward. Terrific. Thanks for this. Thanks, Ken. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.